Welcome back to another edition of the Wizard Shop. As in the previous video that you just seen not too long ago, you saw some lifts being installed. We actually have two of them up. Very thankful to Ben Pack for replacing all these lifts. We still have one more to go. I'm very, very excited to have these in the shop. They're, they're awesome. They're really awesome, guys. Also in the previous video, I promised you guys to reveal a car I just purchased. EuroAsian always has really cool cars for sale. I'm always giving plugs for him, telling you guys about the cool cars he has. And I found one that I just had to have. Let me go grab it for you guys. It's really cool. And here it is, a red sports car, a really rare red sports car. This is my 2001 Honda Prelude. This is actually the last year that they made these. I found this scanning through Facebook Marketplace and EuroAsian Bob always has his cars for sale on there. And I was just scanning through and I saw this red Prelude and I was just, I said, I gotta have it. I've always wanted one. And I made it happen. I went and got it from him. These were made from 97 to 2001. All of them had the H22A four-cylinder engine. The manuals got 200 horsepower. The automatics had about 195. This one's actually an automatic. Now, the sales on these is fi around 58,000 cars. That's not for the 2001 model year. That's for the entire run, four years worth of cars for the fifth generation Prelude. This is the BB6 body style. That's what they call this, the chassis, the BB6 chassis. And like I said, 58,000 of these for the entire run of this fifth generation. That's what makes it kind of rare. Uh, you don't see these on the road very much. You can dr drive from one end of the country to the other. You might see two, if that. Let's take a look under the hood and then we'll get this thing on the lift and check it over. There it is in all its glory. The little 2.2 liter four cylinder. What's really cool about these engines is how they have, this was the introduction to VTEC. This is the car that Honda introduced VTEC on, is the Prelude. This thing revs almost to 8,000 RPMs. It just screams, it's almost like Ferrari, a Ferrari red line, it's crazy. This is the car that started the phrase, hitting the VTEC, yo. At about 5,200 RPMs, it does some changes to the engine and the valve train that allows a lot more air to come in, and you can hear it. You can, you can physically hear the change. It's pretty interesting, pretty fun. It's got 134,000 miles on it, and it's in very good shape. I can tell at one point it's been repainted, but I think they did a pretty good job. It looks decent. The interior is really nice. It's not beat up, it's not tore up. But there's no real serious anything wrong with this car. There's no check engine light. There's no ABS lights on. There's no serious issues with this car. It does need a set of tires and a few other things, but let's go ahead and take a look around the exterior, look at the interior, and then we'll put it on the lift. This is my favorite part of this car is the front end. The it almost looks exotic to me. It looks really, really cool. They designed it very well. It's got nice five-spoke Honda wheels. The tires are so-so. One of them is not so well, not so good. You can see a little bit of fading on the door here. Whatever paint they use may not have been a very good paint. We'll continue on around to the back. No wrecks, no cracks, no scratches. It's not beat up. Some of the emblems are missing. I think when they repainted it, they didn't put the, the prelude right here. It's supposed to be here and a couple others, but like I said, it looks decent. I can get the emblems. There's a little break here on the handle. Maybe someone got with their finger and fingernail or something and broke that. As I said a minute ago, it's not all beat up. It's not all ripped and torn. The seats are in good shape. The dash is in good shape. The steering wheel, the shifter. 
What I really like about it is it has the stock radio, the, the acoustic feedback system it says on it. So many of these Hondas of this year, whether it be Civics or Accords or Preludes, they've been completely just riced out. They've been, the stereos have been changed, the suspension's been changed, things have been really, really modified. But this one's stock, just like the day it left the factory. That's what's really cool about this vehicle. It's got the sunroof, the headliner's in good shape. The tiny little back seats are in good shape. They're not all torn and beat up. Pretty clean car. We'll go ahead and get this thing on the lift and we'll see what it looks like on the underneath. All right, we'll take a look under this thing. The first thing is the, the little shield here. You can't really see much. It's not all beat up or scraped or tore up on the front really too much. We'll take a look at these brakes. The pads are about 60-70% gone. They'll probably need pads before long. Nice and tight. We'll check out this one. Same thing on the pads there. Nice and tight. These tires are okay up front. There's not really any huge drip. There's a little bit of a leak there that I've just recently repaired. It was the distributor O-ring, which is common on Hondas. It's just dripping right down here and it's kind of spraying along, but I need to clean it, but I've already repaired it. And move on back a little bit. Here's the automatic transmission. I know that's, like I said, it's not the desirable transmission on these, but when I saw how nice this car was, I just couldn't let it go. I couldn't let it get modified and trashed in a very unacceptable manner. The cat's still in place, stock exhaust. All looks good. Check these brakes. These have 50 or 60 percent left. Here's the tire I was talking about, guys. It's really, you can see cracks in it. This tire's shot. I'm gonna get hooked up with my tire guy and see what he can do for me, get me a set of tires. Probably do all four, but this one, this one's no good. No good at all. And check this brakes. It looks good, nice and tight. This tire looks like it's been replaced. It looks fairly new. It doesn't surprise me seeing the other one. Check the sway bar links. Bushings. Everything looks pretty good under here. It's not all rusted out. It's not been wrecked. I guess I can't complain for what it is. Really neat little car. Well, we'll go ahead and lower it down and finish talking about it. Well, thanks for following along, guys, and checking this thing out. It's in really pretty good shape. And as you can see, we have all kind of really cool cars in the shop at times. and. This is definitely one of them. This is a cool car. I've showed the picture to a few friends that I hang out with and they're like, wow, that's really cool, wizard. Really cool car. And I've driven it a few times and it's really fun to drive, especially to get the RPMs up there. It just sounds amazing. It sounds awesome. Now, I've never really had very many Japanese cars in my life. I finally got one that's really cool. You guys in the comment section, if you had this car, just like it is, what would you do with it? What kind of things would you do with it? Give me some ideas. Uh, it's, it's kind of an open slate. Now, obviously, I'm not going to slam it to the ground, do wild, crazy, weird stuff, and make it undrivable and not fun to drive. It's a wonderful drive as it is. The next few videos that you guys see will actually be in Florida and Amelia Island. We'll be attending the Cars and Coffee there and also the Concourse Elegance. So the next time you see us, it'll be bright and sunny in Florida. If you're curious what kind of tools I use, uh, check my Amazon Affiliates link below. We also have tools for sale in the Amazon Affiliates UK. Also, I've been writing for Auto Trader Oversteer. Head on over there to check out those articles. 
A lot of really cool little video clips and articles to check out. This, it's got content that you don't see really on the Car Wizard channel. Really interesting content. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button already, go ahead and do that. We got many more cool videos to come. We're getting really close to starting on the, the Rolls Royce swap and pull the engine out of the truck. That's going to be a series of videos that's going to be coming up as well. And again, thanks for watching.